My name is Laiva. I am in ninth grade currently, and my mother tongue I'm taking is Swedish. Well, uh, thank you for meeting with me. Uh, my name is Sophie Utferi, and I am uh, the mother tongue enrichment coordinator this year, and I'm also a language uh, educator. Uh, um, Swedish is my main language at home, so most of the time, yes. Okay. We have over 40 languages spoken, um, and uh, over 71 nationalities represented within the school community. Um, so it was really important to acknowledge this diversity of uh, mother tongues within our school and a task force was launched last year um, parents and teachers were part of this task force um, and, and reflected on the need to develop the language program here at ISD. I chose to do mother tongue because I want to take it from closer to my, my origins and get better at speaking Swedish. Where research has shown um, that it is really beneficial to maintain and develop your mother tongue, not only for inclusion and obviously to uh, keep the connection with your own culture uh, and language, but it's also a key factor for quality learning. And it has been shown that uh, the learning outcome and academic performance of students is also improved if they maintain their mother tongue. Like, because uh, it's not a lot of Swedish people, I feel like it really connects us all together and makes us able to have a conversation in our native language. We have a range of activities we develop within this enrichment program. Students uh, read uh, currently uh, The Little Prince, uh, a literary work in their own mother tongue, and they exchange ideas and study uh, this book and in different ways. And they also read the news and sometimes issue a news report. They've also recently uh, recorded a podcast for Nomad FM, where they discuss their favorite singer and song in English and their mother tongue. Does it make no, sense like, to you? They're describing probably Americans. Um, okay, like because the cap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So really a range of activities to help them maintain and develop uh, their uh, home language and, and really have fun and bond with all the languages represented currently Ukrainian, Swedish, Italian, French uh, speakers and uh, Portuguese speakers are working together and exchanging ideas which is a wonderful, yeah, wonderful community we have set up here. I think like it's I think it's even essential because um, like knowing your mother tongue gives you so many opportunities and yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We would love for this program to continue to grow. Uh, we have already a, a great range of uh, speakers and languages represented. We would love um, more African languages and uh, obviously even more students to join and try this program. Uh, they don't need to be um, completely fluent and they don't need to write perfectly in their home language. They can obviously develop those skills uh, in this enrichment. So we hope to see many more students try it. We also encourage um, DP students to mentor some uh, middle schoolers or high schoolers. And we have currently uh, a wonderful tutor for French um, who is helping um, one of our um, students. <laughs>